everyone. How are you this morning? It's a bit of a, what's the word I'm looking for, grey day here in Long Whittenham. Um, having said that, it was supposed to rain. Not that the garden wouldn't do with some rain, but you know. Uh, I'm just going to do the checks to see if I am live. It's looking hopeful. But let me just check, check, check. Um, it's sneak peek day today. And you may well have seen what I'm going to show you before because demonstrators were able to order this early. Um, but equally, you may not have done. So let's have a look. Oh, and I have got a coffee, which I would quite like to eat. But eat? Eat? Seriously? I don't want to eat my coffee. I want to drink my coffee. But I would like to drink it whilst it's still warm. Uh, let me just pop my other light up. So I'll give you a quick run through. Hello, Karen. I'll give you a quick peek of what we were allowed to order early whilst I'm having another slig. Clearly words are difficult for me today. Uh, morning, Deborah from Michigan. Mm. It's going to be a fun day if I can't even say things like swig of coffee but hey ho so this is the one horse open sleigh dsp um, it's six by six it's an online exclusive you can only get it through my online store you can't get it from a catalog uh, and although it's I, this is back, front and back although it is aimed obviously at winter projects um I'm thinking you can move it, you move it, use it for more than that. Um, even bearing in mind that I think it's, hello Nora, uh, even though I think it's even meant for Christmas, um, definitely winter birthdays, with all these lovely neutral backgrounds. Now this one might even be Halloween for those of you who do Halloween. I don't do Halloween. Um, but yes, winter birthdays, neutral backgrounds just basically mean you can use it for anything. Um, and particularly as most of the backgrounds are what I would call neutral neutrals, uh, you could use them for mail cards. Now, the challenge with 6x6, six six, I'm just going to go back the other way for anyone who's joining late. The challenge with 6x6 six six is how to get the most out of it. Um, because if you use one piece for a card front, that's basically, you've used the piece of paper. So I'm going to have a go at some of my favorite, this is how you make the most of six by six techniques and see how many of them will work. So this one, actually, this one's really interesting for me. Um, I live in a village called Long Whittenham and the Whittenham bit is the Whittenham Clumps, which are two hills that were an Iron Age fort back in the day. Uh, the rest of the area is basically flat and these two hills peak up from the bowl of where we live because we are very much in a bowl. Um, and they look kind of like this. And we got a very good friend of ours to paint us a view of the clumps when we first moved here and he, he we drove him around the district to see where he would most be inspired and this is almost the view that he ended up with with this little gate which goes onto a field which frankly doesn't have trees but you know um, and there are these two sort of lumps so this actually reminds me of that picture so that's the paper We've also been able to pre-order the stamp set. It's photopolymer, so really easy to use. Um, obviously you do have to prep it, but other than that, it's all good. So there is a sleigh, it's called horse and sleigh. There's a rabbit, there's, I don't know whether these are rabbit footprints or snow, but I think they're probably rabbit footprints. We've got joyful, sending warmth your way wishing you a season of cheer and a happy new year. I'm really pleased we've got a happy new year, even if I will need to block off the and a, but happy new year is missing from our stamps. Hello, Barbara. 
already back to normal absolutely barbara was one of the team who came to a an event on well it started friday and finished on sunday uh and it was a team event from run by my upline uh and it was chosen as one of the 35 for 35 uh events and we were honored to have sarah douglas with us from friday night until saturday evening which was amazing the event generally was amazing i unfortunately was feeling a little unwell but apart from that it was amazing anyway so we've got these sentiments we've got two trees the horse and sleigh and yeah this is separate this is not part of the stamp set hello leslie how are you today i hope improving is the answer to that question right these are the dies so we have dies for both trees, the sleigh and the rabbit. We've got some hillocks, we've got a swirl and we've got a branch. We've even got, um, you can do an overlay for the sleigh. So the sleigh will cut these bits out, but you can have this overlay as well. So really nice die set. And last but not least, we've got these adhesive backed snowflake assortment and you get two different sizes in three different colours. So you get the large in the copper, gold and white and you get small but in two designs. Let me find a piece of darker paper. Um, so you get two designs in the smaller sizes and then this is what the larger ones look like so really really pretty the um embelli oh, the embellishments the whole of the new online exclusive selection will be available early next month i want to say the sixth but please don't hold me to that and as the uk is currently in the middle of a um change of website um, the information that is on the old website is a bit dot and carry um, so I have got out in advance some misty moonlight and some boho blue I've also got out the shimmer paper which is from the annual catalogue um, these two sheets feel thicker than the Oh, maybe not no it's just how i was holding them um so these are the in colors the new in colors so we've got copper clay moody mauve pebble path wild wheat and boho blue and i'm going to use these as little bits had to, had 20 clips out yesterday oh a little uncomfortable except for one cliff clip which was bent oh 20 minutes to remove a minute each she was so upset for hurting me oh but at least if you've had the clips out you should start healing properly now and it should be a little more comfortable, I hope. Morning, Sherry. So, yes, I'm going to use these for little bits. So, my challenge to me is to get more than one card out of each sheet of paper. Now, the obvious thing to do is to slice them in half down the middle. Some of them will work and some of them won't. Surprise, surprise. So, that one, you can't just slice down the middle or you'll end up with half a deer. Um... But most of them you will be able to. And I want to... Hmm, interesting. Will that one... So this one you can actually slice so you've got the fox on one side and nothing on the other, which might actually work. Um, 20 minutes for one clip. Oh, for the bent clip. Oh, good grief. Good grief. Wow. Um, so, yes, I mean, that one you can slice in half and you can have, you know, trees on both sides. That one, again, I think you can probably slice in half. Yes, you'll have big house on one side. So I'm going to use that one. And I'm going to use the A sides for this. Hello, K. Okay. Uh, so I'll use that one. I might actually use the B side of this one as well, because that will make a nice card. Um, so my card bases are going to be, 
well I'd say they are they were going to be boho blue and misty moonlight but I might be changing my mind I might be going pebble path and pool party so let's have a look Pebble Path, that will go nicely with Pebble Path. And that, I think, we're probably looking at Pool Party rather than Boho Blue and Misty Moonlight. See, so best laid plans. Let's have a look. So, yes, unfortunately, I was... as a, Oh, hello, Chris. Tuesday night, 10pm, cold. Actually, very cold, really. But summer is on its way past shortest day of the year. Yay, we're past longest day, unfortunately. Absolutely, Kay. Let's send lots of feel, feel good to poor Leslie. Right, so I will make the two cards out of each of these. Let's get rid of the colours that weren't going to be right. So I'm going to prepare my card bases first and then we're going to go from there. So I'm going to do long thin cards. So I'm going to score in the middle there and cut. So these are tent fold portrait. Now, for those of you who are in my monthly card club, my creativity in a box club, we're doing Christmas in July. Um, I did ask for anyone who didn't want to do Christmas in July to let me know. And I've only had people say they want to do it. So we're doing Christmas in July. Yay! So that cuts really nicely in two halves. So you've got a little house there, a bigger house there, but you've got two cards. And this one... So this is obviously an easy background and I might do one one way and one the other. So I'll use this as my front and this is my back, if that makes any sense at all. Right, now I do have a fairly, oh Leslie, you're lovely. Um, I do have a fairly normal layout for a three by six piece of paper. My challenge for Christmas in July is going to be to not use just that layout. So I'm going to start with that class, my classic layout. It's what I would call conveyor belt crafting. So we're going to start with this and this is going to go here, but we are going to zhuzh it up a bit by adding a piece of this as well, but the Scottish blood comes out in me here. Um, I'm not using a whole piece. Sorry, that's just not going to happen. So I'm going to cut two strips, half an inch each. You could do less, but it's a little easier to do them at half inch. So I'm going for the easy option. I need some tear and tape. And these don't really have a right and a wrong side. They are shimmery on both sides. Now, hopefully, all things being equal, today I will be able to record the videos for my June class. I've got the boxes ready to go. I've done the projects. I just need to record the projects. So hopefully those will be going out today um, or maybe tomorrow probably tomorrow but yes this is my plan my hope so I am going to run some seal down at the edge of my card it's going slightly off the edge of my card but that's fine just make sure everything's tucked in and then this I've got my tear and tape on the left hand edge. So I'm gonna just lay this on top. Do the same the other side. So 
So I'm going to make sure that my tear and tape is on the outside edge. And then the key is to get roughly the same gap, both sides. Okay, let's, let's do this. Right, so that's that's actually a little fat, but you get the idea. Then peel the backings off. I will need some scrap paper, but that's kind of easy because I'll have sc I say scrap paper, scrap card, because uh, I'll have that in my drawer. So let's add that. Now we're going to go about there. So, let's get those two pieces out of the way. Using my grid paper to guide me. I am going to... I'm going to come across a bit. I'm going to go there. Trim the back off. In. Right, let's grab a sentiment. Hello, Brenton. Hello, Claire. <laughs> right. I think I'll do warmth, sending warmth your way. Now, as I say, we need to prep these stamps. So I am just going to take a moment to pop these all in their right places. This is the one I'm going to need. So this is this is the kind of the equivalent to sticking the stickers on the back of your red rubber stamps. wide is that? Oh, it will fit on a standard A4 card. I thought it probably would, because presumably it has to stand A4, it's an A6. Um, presumably it has to fit on an A2 card, and an A2 card is not as wide as an A6 card. Now I'm mixing up my, um, my North American and international sizing there, so... Do bear that in mind when you're going, what does she mean an A2 is smaller than an A6? That's what I mean. Right, okay. So, hello Pam. So this is my stamp. Let's pick it up with the block. I'm going to use my white eraser just to give it a key. Like that. And I'm going to go embossing, I think. So I'm going to use one of those bits. And silver. So, while I'm doing this, some public announcements. Um, this is the last week of the Designer Series Paper Sale. This, so 15% off selected um, Designer Series Papers, which includes all of the papers, the suite papers, as in the ones that are part of a suite. I'm going to go this side, actually. Um... Also, it's the last week of the Starter Kit Plus, so the extra product in your Starter Kit. So if you are not currently a demonstrator, please, you do not need to demonstrate to be a demonstrator. You can just enjoy the discount. So please, if you want 
a discount on your stamping up products please 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 make the most of the starter kit plus promotion um, it finishes on the last day of the month so please don't miss out do you watch the cricket oh that's for Brenton just heating up my heat tool I haven't stamped this particularly straight a bit. I'll try and sort that out while I trim it. It's better, still not perfectly straight. That will do. Okay, I'm going to do this this way around. Sadly, this chopper is no longer available. It was a joining offer. Which demonstrators could also purchase. I'm going to leave the phone to go to voicemail. It will go to voicemail, honest it will. And it has. Right, so. No, I definitely want it over here. So it's a very subtle little card. <laughs> Hello, Christine. I'm sorry you need warmth in Canberra. Um, it, I have to say, I can't get my head round having a warm Christmas. Um, anyway, other than putting the heating on, you understand. But anyway, so there's our first card. So that's using a three by six piece of paper and some extra bits. Right, okay. Where are the other bits? They're here. So let's use the other side of that, which is this one. I am tempted to have a rabbit. I've got a real scrap. Of paper just sitting here so let's use that and because I think a rabbit bouncing across here would be quite cute now oh I should have told you what the colors are in the paper um, I'll just pick that up so the colors are I mean there are masses just saying uh, basic black boho blue Cajun craze crumb cake early espresso lemon lolly I struggled with that one but I have found it Lost Lagoon, Misty Moonlight, Mossy Meadow, Old Olive, Pebble Path, Pecan Pie, Petal Pink, Pool Party, Real Red and Wild Wheat. Now, where did I put the papers? Where did I put the papers? Oh, there are, no, 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 there's some open ones. There they are. Right. Lemon Lolly is there. This is Lemon Lolly. This is also petal pink. So that's where, and there's a bit of lemon lolly there as well. So it is there. Uh, you do have to look for it, but it is there. Most of the red is on the reverse. There is some, that's Cajun Craze. There's some red on the A side. Just not very much. That's petal pink again. 
Cajun craze. That's the real red, I think. Anyway, right. I think that is all of the papers. Let me just check if I haven't missed any. This is the what's left. Oh no, there was this one as well. There's this one as well. And that's definitely got red on. And green on the back. So this one again, you can cut at three inches. You'll get a bit of a house on that side and most of it on that side, which this side definitely works. You could use the back for something else. So you could actually cut really thin. Ooh, ooh, I'm gonna use that one as well. Just had a thought. I've had a thought. I don't do cricket. I'm I'm sorry. Hello, Judith. Cricket is meant to be played on a village green in the summer, obviously, um, with a glass of Pims in hand outside a pub. Just, you know, with the odd way in the background. So let's stamp our little bunny. Or hair. I don't know if it's a bunny or a hair. I think it's a bunny. Um, and crumb cake, I think. Crumb cake. You are crumb cake. We'll do crumb cake. A rabbit doesn't need much in the way of colour. A little bit of shading. What it's not got is its tail, which is a bit odd. So one bunny, get my bits. It is on, the tennis is on from Eastbourne at the moment. You are absolutely correct. Um, I used to watch tennis. My mother was a great tennis player, um, certainly in her youth. I have to say I was useless at it, but I did enjoy watching it. Although tradition has it that Wimbledon week is always wet. So we have that to look forward to. Ah, you see, I, Leslie, your father did cricket and soccer. My father was as a very young man, he was a golf, uh, um, a rugby referee uh, because he had a rather nasty injury when he was doing his national service um, and he lost the end of his elbow. Uh, so they recommended that he didn't get too involved in, um, in physical activity. Was it this one I was going to put? No, it was this one I was going to put a bunny on, that's right. So that bunny is going to go there. We'll have our bunny there. But we may have our bunny coming off that, whatever that is at the bottom. Or maybe there. Yeah, that's better. Right. Okay, so, um, so yes, I was brought up on different sports. So I knew the offside rule in rugby before they changed it um, quite early on. Hmm, I wonder... Yeah, I think that can work. I think it can. We're going pool party. So this is going to be basically the same card, but not. Oh! Something has happened to Leslie's account. 
apparently she has possibly been hacked, which is unfortunate. Couldn't. Why do these things always happen to nice people? Leslie, I hope you're still able to listen. Um, I'm really sorry that you've had that problem. Uh, I don't know how you rectify it either. Right, let's attach these first and then I will put the tape on the back. So. Now I want a really, really, really fine edge. In fact, I'm going to go up the way because I'm going to chop off the top rather than the bottom. Um, is everyone else okay? As bearing in mind that Leslie looks like she's been hacked. You can still see and hear, and indeed you can still type. How very, very odd, Leslie. So why does it say it's been locked? That's weird. Just saying, that is really weird. Right, I'm slightly over the edge there, so I'm just going to... How odd. Right. I'm glad you're still with us. Okay. So I'm sure Leslie has not just commented on Jimmy Savile. And for some reason, I can't get rid of the comment. I will keep trying. Yeah, I don't know what's happened, Leslie. I think you might have been hacked. Um, and I can't get rid of the comment for some reason. Give it another go. Can't get into any of them. Let's have a look. I can do that. Why can't I get into that? Hackers are a nuisance, Jackie. Um, particularly when you can't get rid of them for some reason. So trimming from the folded end, you do have to be a little bit careful. Yeah, I think I'm just going to have to live with... No, Leslie, it's not you. Someone has done something and it's not you. Right, I'm going to stick this so that the bottom is attached to the card and the top bit isn't. Well, is on dimensionals, is what I mean. Ooh, I wonder if I can do it through my phone. Thank you, John. Chris, even. You know what I mean. 
Yeah, I wasn't able to for some reason, which is slightly worrying. I wonder if I can... get rid of it through my phone. I don't, Jackie, I don't think it's Leslie. Um, I mean, I know where you're coming from, but I don't think she can. Uh, no, I'm going to have to do it on YouTube itself. It's worth a try. I'm not saying it's not worth a try because it is. Right, okay, so let's go in here. Right. Remove. Oh. Right, I have managed to get rid of... Oh, Jackie, yours is also been done so I've rem managed to remove a couple of comments we'll see what happens next <laughs> yeah Jackie you've been hacked as well report for Harassment and bullying. Oh, don't you love it? Nasty. Okay, I'm going to keep an eye on what happens. At least I now know I can get rid of them on my phone. Right, so that is our second card. So let me now move to this one where I will use the card that I was originally going to use. Let me just have a look. She said, trying to just proceed without too much issue. I might trim there. Right, so I'm going three and three quarters by five and a half. And then I've got some of this, which I'm going to cut at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths, or three and seven eighths by five and five eighths. And I am, because I'm mean that way, just going to take out the middle. So this obviously is a spare bit, and then I might actually use liquid. So I've got half an eye on my screen to see if there are any more nasty people coming, pretending to be my nice people. They're still showing on your screen, are they? The um. Oh. No, I've managed to... They're not showing on this. Let's see what happens if I refresh. Oh, how odd. OK, 
Okay, I'm going to refresh here as well. Live chat. Report. Harassment. Hello, Margaret. Right, so how are they still there? That is so annoying. Okay, remove. Has it now gone? Looks like it has now gone. So I've removed it. I've reported it and moved it, removed it. Sorry, Margaret, you've joined us as we are um, dealing with some unpleasant people who have decided to hijack other people's accounts. Yeah, I reported but didn't block, but I have now removed. That might be why. Thank you, Kay. Right, so we've got this lovely card, which I'm going to put on Misty Moonlight. Sorry, I was just thinking about that for a moment. One thing I would just caution, so a few months ago, and I mean quite a few months ago, um, my account was hijacked and apparently I left some really unpleasant comments on some other people's website, um, YouTube videos. So just be aware that you may get people saying, contacting you and saying, eh? If indeed, you know, and that's in, so, so that would be um, Leslie and Jackie. Uh, just, just be aware that you might. Thank you, Chris. So that's that one. I will probably do a sentiment. This one, I'm going to grab... Ooh, I know what I'm going to grab. If I can find it, you understand. There we go. So this is the holographic paper that goes with the space set. So we've got this and this and then the pink. I'm going to use a very small amount of this. I apologise, it's going to make your eyes go bizarre for a while. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to cut half an inch, Oop, cut half an inch. So it's going to be basically the same design, but with a bit of bling. So I'm trying to keep these. Absolutely, Leslie. I was horrified when I got an email from someone who follows me regularly um, saying, Liz, do you know you've been re leaving, or, you know, do you know you, in inverted commas, have been leaving nasty comments on other people's videos? I said, no, I haven't. She said, no, I know you haven't, but it looks like you have. So just the hair of a smidge of this. This, these holographic papers, you really don't need a lot. So that's really all you need, the tiniest, tiniest piece. It 
it's definitely a case of less is more. But it's my my thought is it's picking up on the fact we've got these lights and I've got a thought with that as well. So we'll use Misty Moonlight again. I'm actually going to use liquid glue for the sides. Or I would if my liquid glue would like to work. I'm going to lift up the bottom of this, just make sure that I have actually got adhesive where I need it. Especially Aussie crafters. I think, I think I would like to add British crafters to that as well. But yes. Right, so we have that now. Where is it? There it is. Wink of Stella, just the tiniest little splodge around each of these lights. I'm not going to do it on this one because the large, the large house has lots going on. The bit that's left needs something to lift it. So the tiniest, weeniest bit of holographic card helps, as does a little bit, and I don't know if it's going to pick up. Oh, just, I think. There's just that little bit of sparkle. Right, OK. So let's go for wishing you a season of cheer. because John is actually Chris, just saying. Right, oh, that was interesting. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna go silver and gold and I'm going to grab Misty Moonlight, scraps thereof. Ma, 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 ma. Misty Moonlight. Scraps. That probably isn't big enough. That probably is. And that is. So let's use those. Got a lot of scrap bag. So I put any card that I have cut at all into my scraps and as a general rule when I'm not doing a live I will grab from the scraps first yeah that's going to be big enough right so I'll do gold first because it's nearest
another one on the other side. And then we can heat them both at the same time. Oh, Leslie, that's so kind. I'm glad we keep you. I was going to say muse. That's not what I mean. I, I'm glad we keep your spirits up. That's what I'm trying to say. Right. Okay. This is a twofer. Now, do be careful, because I've all, I've just got away with it. Do be careful when you're heating gold in particular that you don't overheat it. I just missed a bit. Better. Um, if you overheat your embossing powder, it will sink into the card. It's not a good look. Oh, bless you. Bless you, Chris. You're one of seven. Oh. And five half-brothers and sisters. Good heavens. Wow. One of my ancestors on, I think it was my mother's side, um, went to Australia... Um, I think relatively recently. I think probably... I don't know if it was between the wars. Um, anyway, he went out with family Bibles because that was in the days when it wasn't particularly the thing to be from convict, convict stock. Um, so he would get he went out with a whole load of family Bibles so that people could acquire a family. Just fits on half an inch, three quarters of an inch, even. Right. So this one is going here, and I'm going out, and the other one is going on this one, and then I think we might call it a day. Stamping up has given me a new lease of life. Joining was the best thing you've done for ages. Oh, stamping up is at the event on over the weekend. We had a. It was it was a really interesting, if somewhat emotional, um, task isn't the right word, um, activity. It was described as a fun activity. I didn't find it fun. I found it interesting, but emotionally draining. Um, and it was to bring something with us that was kind of encapsulated why you are part of stamping up, what you gained out of stamping up, etc. So I ended in tears, of course, um, when it was my turn, because uh, I am a softy when it comes to these things. Um, but it was fascinating. Right, we have made four cards so far. I might do one very quick one. Oh, okay, you're so right. Watching heat embossing is alchemy. So those are the ones we've done so far. I will do one more very quick one, which is going to be that. And so this whole, I've got to find something new. 
Uh, oh, I could do that. I could do that. Right, I'm going to use the reverse. So this is going to be similar but different. Um, no, not that. Where's the, where's the trimmer that I want? Let's have a look for it rather than just trying to feel. So I'm going to go quite narrow this time. So this is a centimetre. Coincidentally, I've not measured it as a centimetre. I measured it to yay big and it happens to be a centimetre. And I've only done that because it's quite useful to have a little bit of this left. Oh, thank you, Karen. That is so kind. I have to say, I love doing our lives. Although having said that, I am going to have to cut them back a bit. Um, I haven't quite decided what I'm doing, but I, I need to find some time in my diary to live. Um, but we'll worry about that when it happens. So, very, 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 very narrow little bit of and another very, 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 very narrow little bit. This is a filthy silicon mat. I need to clean it. There we go. Right. That uh, now. So I'm going to have that there. But I'm just thinking. There's this piece here that's just bare. So I'm thinking I'm going to have. This is some of the ribbon that carried over that's the real red and the stitched is it crumb cake I don't think it claims a color but it carried over from the last mini <laughs> oh bless you Chris absolutely beats the blood pressure tablets who needs blood pressure tablets when you've got stamping up? One of my team, who is the loveliest lady on the planet, frankly. I mean, not that all my team aren't lovely, because they are. Um, she was a customer of mine for quite a while. And she's been on my team for quite a while now as well. Um, she is one of the kindest people you could wish to meet. And... She was at the event at the weekend. Should have used Seal Plus, never mind. Um, oh dear Lord, she's the, she, what she doesn't do. Um, I mean, she's, she's had health issues, serious health issues herself, but she does so much good for other people through stamping up. And she left a comment on the events page for my upline saying that she, first she was a, a customer and that was good and then she became a, demo, a hobby demonstrator and that's good and then she came to the event this last weekend and she realized that the absolute best thing you can do is to be part of a team because they are the most wonderful people, etc., etc. I have me in tears again. Um, and as I say, this is a woman who has had serious, serious health issues. She was supposed to come to the event last year, but couldn't. Um, and she came with her husband this year, who was spending time with family while they were in Birmingham. And um, she, she said... I'm definitely coming next year and I might, I think I can come on my own. I don't think I need my husband to come with me, although he may not let me go on my own. But, you know, the point was that, um, that she had a, an amazing time. 
I don't know that this needs a sentiment, so I'm not going to bother. So we've done five cards. Can we just, can we just, you know, stop and... I've done five cards in an hour. Um, I mean, they are really not complicated cards, but five cards, five, five cards in an hour. Um, that, I think, might need a sentiment, but I don't think that one does. They obviously need liners, but other than that, some ideas on how to use this stunning paper. Now, of course, I've got to try and find some other ideas to use this paper because I'll be doing a class with it and I haven't yet designed the cards. Um, and I've used my, you know, quick card pattern for four by uh, six by four cards. Um, but I know a lot of people struggle with six by six. So I hope this has given you some ideas on how to make the most of your six by six. Thank you, Carol. Um, obviously it does depend on the paper itself, but I love that this makes two cards. You just have to think a little bit outside of where you would normally think. Um, it's a design I have used for many, many years. Sorry, there's glue poking out. Um, and it works. You can do it so that the three by three piece, or the three by six piece is central. Frankly, that takes measuring. So for me, wham it to one side, ideally the left. Oh, bless you, Kay. I know you did have a really rough year last year. Thank you, Nora. Thank you, Pam. Thank you. So I've even managed to nearly finish my coffee while it was almost warm still. Um, I will get this lot posted on my website. Um, thank you, Leslie. Yes, I'll, I'll flip the camera up and do the whole, you know, bit. Um, if I can find my mouse. Where's my mouse? There's my mouse. There's my mouse. So thank you so much for watching. If you're watching on the replay, you can leave comments below the description bar. Um, I will get back to them a little bit behind, but only by about three or four comments. Um, I didn't do any comments over the weekend, answer any comments over the weekend, because um, I was um, on a break. Uh, if you have enjoyed it, a thumbs up is always appreciated. If you're new and you don't already subscribe, you can do that in the bottom right hand corner. And if you hit the alert bell for all alerts, uh, whenever I go live, you'll see, you'll get a little notification. Um, and yes, do remember DSP sale ends at the end of the week so on the on the last day of june 30th sorry i had to go 30 days half september april june 30th um and also the joining plus offer finishes on the 30th so please 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 um can't you go a little longer please um i've got stuff i need to do chris sorry i've been here an hour and I do need to do other things like finish finish the videos for the class that I need to send out this week. Thank you very much indeed. Have a fantastic rest of your week. I will be back here on Thursday. I may be back with a little sneaky recorded between now and then. Because um, I've got lots of swaps I need to share. Have a fantastic time since till then. Leslie, I hope your back improves immeasurably. Those of you who have had interesting comments posted in your name i hope you managed to get that sorted out um and i'm really sorry it's happened to you it will probably just disappear they've been reported youtube is normally quite good at sorting these things out anyway until we see each other again have a fantastic time and i will see you again soon bye for now she says thinking she's